Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at Yoke Heroes a long time ago. A interesting Tamagotchi style game. So let's get into it. Um That is for Pam alone and they are gone. Okay, well I guess we'll go into slot two. I don't know who Pam is, but I hopefully they didn't throw away this game. I'm currently using a different color palette than the normal one. Somebody's under attack. We must save them. Something must be done. Chapter 1, Frogs versus Fairies. Okay. Aya, oh yeah, it's the Fairy Queen. And transcended to meet you. You are my guardian spirit. I have created you just now. now that's pretty rad. The role is important. The quiz's frog lord and his minions is find fairies delicious. Uh, we do in fact taste like candy. So uh, I do get it. How do you know what you guys taste like? This will not stand. I'm going to create a hero to protect all fairy kind. The hero will stop the frog lord uh, machinations or whatever that word was. I didn't kind of read it. Facing kid is, you know, tough and I don't want to do it. So I created you. You basically raised the hero for me. Save the fairy kind. Will you look after my yoke hero? Shh. No. But thou must. But thou must. Uh, how about no? Oh, come on. No. We're going to have a problem here. Uh, yes. Look, we are going to have a problem. Okay, I get it. Here you are, brought into this world. You just to serve me. And it doesn't seem fair, does it? Uh, no, it does not. Uh, you get to work for me. The Fairy Queen. I'm pretty great. Isn't that enough? Uh, no. you have been a real sad pill right now. This reminds me of the, what is your role? You pass butter. And I'm like, oh... I can do anything to convince you. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, how about if I ask really nicely? No. Do you like this? This isn't funny. I'm the queen. I'm playing around. You're gonna do what you're told. No. I don't think I like you. Ah? Look, I made you do the thing. Your job, your reason for being, is to raise my yoke here. To guide them to save Varigan. Why are you making this so difficult? Will you please just... Like, can you please? Uh, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. In another world, I would destroy you and start over. However, I don't have enough power left. Oh, that sucks for you. Can't make you do this? You're on your own, being. Need your help. All fairy kind needs your help. People need your help. Please help me. So many adventures to go on. So many incredible things to see. Screed, help me. Be my guardian spirit. Ah, no. Goodbye. I make a servant to look after the yoke. Seems like a good idea at the time. Give it its own will and impetus. What a terrible idea. I gotta ask you one more time. If you really don't want to do this, I guess you just have to go back to the menu or something. And if you do agree to do this, I will um, just do it okay. Eh. Well then, I guess that's it. Even though the great power I have, I can't make you do something. It's a goodbye. Farewell. Nice. We got the bad ending. Um, uh, no game. I wonder if we went through that again. Are they going to remember us? I'm the fairy queen. Okay. However, raising kids. So that's what I'm going to do. I know. But that mouse. Yes. Okay. And now watch as I form the hero. Don't look, don't look directly at me. It's weird. Okay. It'd be kind of cool if we got a little hidden easter egg for that. 
Um, you made an egg. That's interesting. What do you mean? That's an egg. That's not a hero. It's just a yoke for now, but it will be a hero. Okay, so let's open it up. Do we just crack it? That looks like a Yoshi egg. Oh, hey, it's the menu fairy. Warning, one of those led. I think the tutorial is coming. Good. Okay, well, let's go. Helpless elf egg. Do the hungry beasties. Uh, heat, rain, and wind can be dangerous to the egg. Don't let the egg get too whole cold. You want to keep the egg temperature just right. I'm guessing in that middle area. Perfect range. The healthier the hero will be when it hatches. Cool. A leaf. You can move it using the left and right arrow keys. This might be a controller game instead. Nope. I don't. Okay. Left and right arrow keys. You can also click to move it. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing. Leaf can be in one of three positions. Okay. Left blocks cold wind. Top blocks rain and sun. And to the right to protect the egg from critters. Move the leaf will require energy though, so keep an eye out. Okay. Don't worry too much though. If you lose this egg, you can always try again until you succeed. And we'll save the kingdom without breaking a few eggs. So it has like a little area. Okay, so it's getting a bit hot. Okay, so the sun always exists. Gotcha. We kind of balance that out between, so this is happening at simultaneous times. Get away from here, snake. As you can see, the, the virtual pet style. Nice, egg hatch, 35 HP. 11 strength, egg int. Energized, poised, and studious. Very nice. Good work. A yoke has become a Hulk. I'm going to do the world, the hero. What should we name it? We'll name it. We'll name it Arcane. For this reason, we let your local adventurous guild raid them. A better place for a hero to grow up. Okay. So we just send them off the boarding school. Easy. Train strength, dex, int. Make him smarter. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. Very nice. Kind of got a, a little dance dance revolution and that pushes this down a little bit i guess this is the time limit down here okay you can't see my mouse that's good good to know the time in the bottom right is i guess the activity time Time in the top right, I don't know. Maybe that's the life or our, like the current babiness of it. Ooh. We should train 
fairly we might we might not succeed this 12 seconds come on maybe that just sped up the time okay so how do we know what it needs Welcome to the fairy corner. As my guardian spirit, you will always have access to my wisdom. It's not by here any time to glean my knowledge. Uh, I can't always promise it. Be useful info. You might want to check the fairy guidebook for that. But you're always here. You're welcome to come here. See what I have to say. Not by any time. Okay. Uh, waiting for the elf to grow up. It shouldn't take too long. Um, you have tried waiting longer. Do you need any food? I don't I don't know if it does. Is it really gonna be eight minutes? Ah there we go. So we got energy, hunger, hygiene. We gotta keep these within a reasonable level. We'll upgrade our character. I guess we don't need to fully complete this. Unless that means this, the bottom bar represents how long it will take us to get max. And we have six minutes before we're, oh, okay, we're, we're done. kind of got a click to make sure what's happening doing good hygiene Get some hygiene going Z we're washing making sure we're actually a speak and span hero We don't need to eat. My bad. Sorry. How are we looking for energy? Eh, okay. Let's get some training in. Down my way. Uh, time five minutes. Energy ten. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, this is how long it's got to take. But it's also raising our stats. As you can see, this is kind of like a pet game. But also with a little bit of story attached to it. And as we'll see, it will evolve throughout the game. I do like the kind of art style that they're going with. Very Game Boy Advance. I'm oh, sorry, original Game Boy, not Game Boy Advance. It doesn't seem like we can mess this up either unless we just have to hit the top Done. then don't have a lot of energy but can we not do this okay strength Hold it and activate it. It kind of looks like he's casting magic here. But these ones are a lot easier than the uh, wisdom one. Maybe we're more suited to these style as being an elf. 
because it seems to be chunking it a lot. It's around 2 minutes and 30 seconds, but it takes 15 seconds off each time we get it. Which seems like a lot. Maybe... Oh shit. Maybe it's because the uh, traits that we got, they gave us, you know, made us better at doing certain things. It's all exploring with this game, which is kind of cool. I like how we've been given like a little bit of information, but then we kind of got to figure it out. Especially with that like whole save file that we don't know what that's about. Hopefully it's not like a Ben Drown type thing. Gotta have a little sleep. Okay, our character is evolving. Uh, okay. Congratulations, your hero is now a toddler. Uh, they're not quite full grown, it will take a bit longer. Warning, warning, warning. Tutorial incoming. Oh good. Let's dive in. When this timer is up, the young hero will go into an adult, be able to quest. Quests are very exciting, but also very long. However, I don't think that means you need to just sit here and watch them. Big Hero is a companion game. The little hero will be okay if you leave them alone for any length of time. Don't be afraid to let it idle in the background. And only check in on your little hero periodically. Also, don't be afraid to close your hero. Even while the game is off, your hero will continue to do what you told them to do. Interesting. Back to the task at hand. An indicator of your hero's general mood will always be shown here. Keep an eye on the hero and their actions to know what they might need. Everything you need to know for now. We'll talk more when your hero is fully grown. Look at that, Yo hero started a walk. Little hero is a toddler now. That means they need a little more looking after. Soon the hero will be old enough to go on quests. Look after them well. Just remember, all kind of fairy kind, all fairy kind depends on your success. Goodbye. What's this? Tutorial coming your way. I love tutorials. Before you grown up and set off on quests, why not run a few errands for people around the guild hall? You advance automatically during errands and quest. Walking even towards your goal. If you want your you want the hero to go faster, you can help them out. Z and X in a steady rhythm. You walk faster. Let's walk. How far down the hero has walked shows how close you are getting. Out of various monsters during errands. You will need to defeat them. When your hero attacks, hits the Z key at the right time to do some more damage. I went defending too, time it correctly against slight boost. Okay, classes, weaknesses. Return to town. I need some beard polish if you could pick me up. We've got to fight a box. Destroyed. Goodbye bag. Obviously, we're not probably... Ah, oh, God damn it. We're not going to get attacked by any real monsters, I would say. It's just kind of like a tutorial of teaching us like how fighting goes while we're being a little toddler. <laughs> beard bomb retrieve. Oh, my beard bomb shines to the moon. Collects the seven gold, seven XP. And that was in real time. And yeah, so I will skip forward a little bit so we can see the whole range of this. And if anything interesting comes back, I will sure to record it. I'll see you guys then. Okay, we're back and there we go. What has been an instant uh, transition for you guys has actually been uh, 30 minutes for me. Now we're a young, heroic adult. 
Ventures Guild has finally admitted you as a full member. Start going on adventures. Warning. Tutorial inbound. Ready. Great. Uh, train, you need XP. XP can be gained from defeating monsters. You only train each stat up to a certain cap. Level up during quests or increase that cap. You need money. Food and items. Cool. Uh, when you get your own money, you can head to the shop and buy stuff. Use your items, open your inventory, and select the ones that you'd like. Alright, I'm sure. Embark on quests here. Quests can be dangerous. Fail a quest, your hero will get scuffed up. But we'll be okay. You need to train up and try again. Well, your hero has become big and strong. Hello, now it's time for the hero to go on the first real quest. Be scary, there'll be many dangers, but you are here. After them when they'll sick. Them in the right direction. We find the frog lord. Ooh. Seriously. Don't die. Uh, so we have one fairy kiss. Nothing else. We are where we are a warrior. Give menu. Okay, sounds useful. Gear menu, from here you'll be able to check your stats, gear, and whatnot. Okay. So, 16. I don't think we have any gear, that's fine. Buy, medicine, stopwatch, we have $7. Can't really buy anything. A warrior? Go on a trip. Uh, ETA 10 minutes, energy 5. Uh, if it isn't the youngest member, you want to stop Frog Lab? Yeah, well, uh, help me kill some rats. Cheers. Rat champ is out there, good luck. So we can. Destroyed. This said it would probably take us roughly 10 minutes, but might be able to get away with doing it a little bit quicker because we're actively doing it. Hitting 20s. I don't know how big HP this thing has. But it's definitely less than 20. So we're coming near the end of the road, which as long as there's no like multiple screens, uh, that would be, that'll be it. We at the end of the quest, we'll be able to fight the rat chump. I'm kind of afraid to get hit now because I don't know if I'm like, oh, the rat champ. Punch whatever I choose. Sometimes I punch lives out. Sometimes I punch villagers. Now I'm going to punch you. Okay, well, fuck you. Uh, you got one shot. I'm done, done. How could it be best if someone so young? Hey, he's a little rhymer. Defeated the rat champ. He was a champion of rats. Good work. Rats in town are incredibly demoralized. We'll set up a veteran gear. Sword, shield, armor, sword. Okay, cool. Thank you. And we got another quest. Oh, the, the first quest. Keep it up. Okay, goodbye. Uh, I would like to equip my gear. Take the adventurous sword. Take the adventurous armor and the adventurous shield. So now we have 24 strength out of 16. This is plus 8 for everything. Very nice. Cool, that's us, I guess. And then we could, I guess, do this one. But I think that is going to be us done. So hopefully you guys got a little taste of uh, Yoke Heroes, uh, the lone Tamago, uh, which is a pun, because I think Tamago is egg in Japanese. Don't quote me. 
So it's a Tamagotchi-like game um, where you create your own, you level up your hero. And I'm guessing at certain levels and whatnot, we can go through and fight. It's very much an idle game, so uh, that's what the game is about. It's about idling. Uh, you leave it on in the background or even uh, closed, and it will continue doing what you want to do. You can even set it to to level up a bunch of stuff based on what your prepared, uh, preferred skill is. But it was a little interesting. I I liked the idea, but I think it needs to be a little less idle for me to play it. Um, you do have different palettes. This is the default, which is very gray. I decided to put us on icy because I, th I felt like that looks a bit better. This is more interesting to look at. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.